While Hot Girl Summer is for Gen Z, the millennials already know we've been doing the hot girl thing since the 9-9 and the 2000s. I'm prepared to go into fall, still a hot girl with this beautiful wig courtesy of Tina Shea. It's sent over this gorgeous 5x6 lace front wig. She is a highlight lace front wig with so many details that I'm going to tell you about in just a moment. But for now, I just wanted you to get the tea and catch the vibe. We're going to be installing her for beginners. You guys know I'm all about the beginner friendly unit. And ladies, I got your back. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this flawless install from my hot girlies. Keep on watching. Jumping right into it, this is the packaging from Tennessee. They also sent me over this nice dust bag filled with goodies. I'll show you that at the end of the video. But for now, let's go ahead and get right into the star of the show. Now here she is in the flesh. This is a air cap wear and go highlight lace front wig. She's glueless. She is a silky straight texture. She comes with pre-cut HD lace and she also includes this adjustable elastic band. You guys know I keep mine secure with the elastic band first, secure the back of the wig, then I proceed to put on the front. Now that I got her in perfect position, here is a good look of what she looks like from the front as well as what she looks like from the back. As I mentioned, this is 24 inches and she's nice and full in density. She's definitely no disappointment at all. Here's a close-up of what the hairline looks like. As I mentioned, this is a glueless pre-cut lace. It comes with a scallop cut to kind of give you a good camouflaged look. I'm going to go ahead and sleek this one out. I'm going to melt it down so it can look super good and like we came out of the salon. And I'm going to show you how to do it super simple and easy. So boom, we don't have to cut off any lace and we definitely don't have to bond it down. But we're definitely going to finesse and make her look super good. So I'm going to start off with my dynamic duo you guys already know it's the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb i like my hot comb to be super hot so mine is set as a 500 degree i want to remind you to number one always use a heat protectant to protect your hair then also keep in mind that heat is hot you guys seen i just burnt myself yes it did leave a scab and you'll see it in future videos I tend to burn myself all the time. If you are in fear of burning yourself, please do the dynamic duo on a wig head before you apply your wig to prevent any kind of heat damage to your skin. Now that I've got her super nice and sleek, you can see a huge difference. She no longer looks like a wig and she looks like a sleigh waiting to happen. For this one, I'm going to melt her by adding baby hair. Sometimes adding just a little bit of sparse like baby hair will help to make the wig look super, super, super sleek. And it kind of will camouflage those, uh, the lace or that line of demarcation of where it begins and ends. So I went ahead and cut mine super duper short. And I'm just going in with a little edge control from bdeckbeauty.com, kind of pointing the hair and like teasing it to go into different directions. I don't want it to be super thick or dense and I don't want it to be uniform. So I'm just playing with it until I get my perfect um, look, I guess you can say. And now we are set and you guys can see she's not bonded down but she definitely looks super melted no bonding down at all literally just edge control is all we used sometimes it'll take a little minute for you to find your perfect groove but once you find it keep it i'm gonna pull the hair back and you guys can see how beautiful she looks and we haven't even tinted it at all i'm gonna use this product it's not new to me but it's new to you here i don't think i've ever used this one this is the ic spritz um it's the green one and of course i got it on amazon i'll have it linked in the description box and I just added a little bit of that. So I'm going to secure that with the melt belt. A combination like this, a nice good spritz with a melt belt always gives me the perfect melt with no kind of stookiness or like residue left behind. Your wig will still be 100% glueless. So while that magic works, I'm going to go ahead and work on the rest of the hair. Now this one is a beautiful highlight. I love the combo on this one. I'm super confident in this one. This gives me hot girl vibes. I'm going to go ahead and silk press it and you guys already know how to do that. You take your flat iron on the highest setting and you chase that bad baby with a rat tail comb and you'll get a nice good silk press. You guys can see the before and after from left and right and I'm going to repeat the same step on that right side. I think it's your right side but it's my left. And I'm going to just speed it up so you guys can see. The beautiful color is so professional on this one. I love it so much. Now that was enough time to go ahead and melt the lace so we are good to go. Honestly you can go ahead and tint the lace at this step and you are done. Of course I feel like when I do straight hair I have to do a little bit extra so I just took it a little too far on this one. Now I did go ahead and add some beautiful layers and I just used an eyebrow razor. The one 
I was using was already old. And of course, you guys see it broke on me. But I came out with the perfect, perfect layer in the front. It gave an Aaliyah vibe where the layer is completely in the front, opposed to like the layer being like all throughout the wig. I love the way this came out. I wish I would have like kept it like super bone straight with the layers because looking at this with this black top, I love the way it looks. We're going to go ahead and add some curls to it, which again, extra. Look how beautiful this looks. Even if you just slightly bump the ends, I felt like this looks perfect. Don't curl it. Leave it bone straight. It's bomb. Bomb, right? So I'm looking at it and I'm just like, don't do it, girl. Don't do it, girl. And then I did it. I went ahead and curled it. And honestly, I was at this point, like I had somewhere to be. So like I'm curling it, but I'm not even curling it properly. I wish I would have kept it straight. But of course, you can't cry over spilled milk. After, after this, I definitely went back straight because I just love the way the jagged, like blunt layers looked. But this is how it looks once you go ahead and bump the ends. This definitely is a beautiful look as well. The only thing left to do is to tint the lace. You can see the lace wasn't that bad. It just was a little bit too light for me. So I did go ahead and just conceal everything. I used a cream foundation in the parting paired with a powder foundation that was pretty much the same color um, and same brand on the hairline. It looks absolutely beautiful. And the icing on the cake is that it's 100% glueless and this is why i say that it was not necessary because i went ahead and curled the hair i was dissatisfied with how the curls looked so i kept trying to amp it up and do more and more and more so i went from flat iron curls to wand curls and you know i just did the most they came out beautiful and you guys can see a good um variation of how this one does hold a curl and she looks absolutely beautiful in the curl but again if you buy a bone straight wig wear a bone straight and just enjoy it in that look again this one is from tennis Shea and she is five by six lace closure wig she fits a hundred percent glueless you don't need to add any um, bond or anything like that to her. I did add a little flex hold hairspray at the end and just comb the curls out and she is absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm going to show you what was in that goodie bag because like, I know you guys seen how thick she was looking. So the goodie bag in itself is reusable. They included the invisible HD wig caps. They also gave me the, this bonnet in black, this mini pack of bobby pins. They also gave me a pack of eyelashes. Here is a little hairband. It gives tropical vibes. A baby hairbrush in the color blue. These two crocodile clips as well. And then also they gave me this male belt. And that's pretty much it. You guys already know I have your back. All of the details as well as a direct link to this wig is in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Also be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.